Hello everyone and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game online pack opening and a lot sooner than I expected to have them but I have managed to get over 100 packs of Ultra Prism. We're going to open 100 packs of those today. Somehow I got six pre-release kits as well. I'm not going to open them today. Um, before we start, I did put the theme decks on for Ultra Prism, so some cards might not come up as new when we first open, but I have opened no boosters of this pack. I'm just going to check that I'm recording. Yes, I am. Always got to love that paranoia when you start a video like this. So let's just get on with it. So we'll be left with... Well, that was weird. Um, we'll be left with 10 packs, so nice easy number two. Remember, I have done so well with this set. I have three rainbows and well, straight in with the Hollow Cresselia. I actually pulled about three of those as well. Magnazone, going to be very useful for deck building. But I've got three rainbows, including Cynthia and Looker, which were my set goals. So obviously on here, Cynthia and Looker would be great as well. There we go with the Magnazone. The Magnazone line is... what is going on here? The Magnazone line is amazing and this this set is just great. I am missing physically only about 30 cards. Uh, so I've done, considering how big this set is, amazingly well. Garchomp, again and straight in with our first prism, we have Sogaleo. Awesome stuff, number 89, only allowed one of those in your deck brings back the lost zone but i'm sure you already know about all that and you don't need me to go over it wow okay i mean in a physical pack that would be the other way around but we've got the super boost energy this card provides a colorless energy while well, this card is attached to a stage two pokemon it provides every energy but only provides one energy at a time if you have three or more stage two Pokemon in play, it provides every type of energy, but it provides four energy at a time. Okay, that's the one that I don't have. I've got five of the six. Is it six prisms? That's the one I don't have. And that's usually in the reverse slot, but does mean a charisma as well. Awesome stuff. Number 90, our first GX from this set. Starting really strong. Um. Oh, I love seeing all these new cards. Gumshoes as well, a phenomenal card. Reverse Shaman and the Alolan Executor. And Wash Rotom. I don't know if I'll play those Rotom cards. I don't know, I just never really use nine tool cards in a deck, personally. I don't know, but that's, that's just me. That is a Reverse Red Lux Ray. And Arachnid. There's only a few silly cards that I'm missing physically as well. Obviously, you've got a few GX. A Reverse Cynthia, good stuff, need that. And a Salazzle. Like the Magmortar and the Hollow Shaman are two of the silly ones that I've got away from me. Uh, Leaf Moon GX, I don't have. Type Null, that's useful as well. And we have our third prism, that is a Giratina with. Chaotic Star and Crisis Dive. Good stuff. We've pulled about three of those, Joe and I, between us. It's, uh, I don't know. It seems to be the prism that we like to pull the most. And the Hollow Infernape. I think I pulled my Hollow Infernape at the pre release. I pulled like most of my good cards at the pre release, to be honest, including a Hollow Bassidon I got as well. And that new Oranguru along with Luka is pretty pretty good, pretty good. Low Punny and there is a Heat Ran which is really good in my um, metal pre-release deck because I, I pulled the Heat Ran one. Uh, so I didn't have the Garchomp line but ooh and the reverse unit energy, good stuff. And a full art Lusamine Brilliant, number 153. I don't have this one. Joe got this in his booster. Put two in any combination of support and stadium cards from your discard. Ooh, just moved the 
pop filter. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I'm trying out pop filter now. Um, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Very beautiful card, very beautiful card. Good stuff. Mm, just the one new and the Tapu Lele. Unfortunately, not the Tapu Lele we want, though. Uh, <laughs> I do have three digital Tapu Leles, which is quite crazy. There we go. And another Giratina Prism. And we got the Hollow Shame in there as well. If only I had that one in my physical collection. Uh, but uh, yeah, at least I got some trade fodder. I don't think I'll ever be using Giratina. And there's no real reason to have more than one of them online as well. Because, hmm. Okay. Okay. Wow, let's start with the Dark Rye. I don't like how it's the wrong way around on this. Uh, we've got Dark Rye and Nightmare Star and Abysmal Sleep number 77. And with a rainbow, we have the Dawn Wings Necrozma GX number 161. I think there's around 170, 175 cards in total in this set, including all the secret rest. I have actually pulled this card, so I'm not too bitter. I've not seen it used. It's the uh, the uh, Dusk Mane. I see used way more. But that is cool. One rainbow, one full art already. We've got the Mars, and Rotom, and look at Lee. Yeah, I think the Prism and the GX should be the other way around. New Lily, which is absolutely beautiful. I would not mind the Full Art Lily at all. Such a beautiful card. A lot of love for Lily. And they just announced a new Nendoroid for her as well, which I'll have to be picking up because we'll have a bit of a uh, collectible figure problem now. Don't know where it's going to go on my shelf, but... Wow, not far in and we've already had some really good pulls. And the Garchomp, the Garchomp line, can we just talk about how broken that is? In the theme deck, just pick up the Garchomp theme deck because that thing is insane. I've just gone, I've gone so many wins with that deck online. It's, it's really good. I mean, yeah, that was just on the theme deck ladder, but if, I'm very close to cloning it. I'm gonna say I like that one more than uh, that one because you want the Ascension to evolve. But Garchomp, Cynthia, Lucario is such. I got it set up pretty much turn two, and you just can destroy with it. It's a very nasty uh, combination, and that theme deck is. If you're just getting into the game. That theme deck is great and I highly recommend it. I've not actually tried the Empoleon one yet. I do have the Empoleon one, but I've just been having too much fun with the Garchomp deck. I might, might edit it, but to be honest, it doesn't need much edits at all. And there is our second GX, I believe, Sivart GX. Even though we had one in NASA, we got a new one because obviously we got the new memories as well. That's number 116. I'm not a big fan of that Pokemon, I'm sure if you guys have been following me around, you know my feelings on that Pokemon. Uh, it's more type null that I have a problem with. But yeah, and so here we go, Magmortar. I need that card! Um, that's really annoying. I hate pulling cards that I need. Like, in real life. It's, it's just a bit annoying. <laughs> What else do we have here? Oh, first pull of the new energy, but non reverse hollow and type null. I wish there was an option so you could, um, if it's a reverse you've got, it wouldn't come up as new. So I know we got that normal, and we got the hollow Lucario, which is pretty good. We're gonna need those. And I'm wondering if my mic can pick up Joe laughing at the TV downstairs. <laughs> Salazzle and another hollow Infernape. That gum shoes with the identify is was really useful in the pre-release. Spiritomb was great in any pre-release deck because it's colourless anyway. And in Polion, another one. Much loved at the moment. I've not seen it in too many decks. I've seen the Magmite, Magnazone. 
gas everywhere and heat ran. <laughs> But a lot of the dust, I have been seeing a lot of dust mane around. And Magiana. That reminds me I've got to pick up my Magiana in the game because I've been picking up a lot of event Pokemon that I've got a bit lazy with and I completely forgot how to pick that one up yet. Hollow Drampa. Not too bad. Pulled a few of those between Joe and myself as well. And young Goose. And there's a Dust Main Crowsma again. So, yeah, Claw Slash, Meteor Tempest. So let's go. That, again, in the Magma Zone Mount Coronet. I've seen a lot of that around. So, maybe I can make my own deck now. Now I've pulled a couple of those. Like, I'm really surprised how quickly I've um, managed to get the 100 packs because it, it usually takes me some time. Joe uses his own codes now because he oh this is another really really good card i've seen a lot of this played online pulled a couple myself uh with the freezing gaze as long as this pokemon is your active pokemon your opponent's gx and ex in play their hand then this cup i'll have no abilities i've been caught out by this and it's not good but yeah if it wasn't for a lovely lovely donations free dm and uh i traded for a few hand loads of codes at uh, a local pokemon league i would not have had a hundred at this point i mean it's been about two weeks so i've done quite well i didn't think i'll be making this video for quite a while to be honest and i'm not buying so many cards um these days either so this is this has been <laughs> I've been quite lucky. Loads of, I've got loads of guard chomps now. I think I think we'll be fine. At least I can uh, probably put some evolution lines up of those for trade. I'm sure people would quite like that. It's not a bad idea actually. There's any cards I need, but put some evolution lines up for trade. It's a good idea, Marty. I know. So we don't see so many new cards anymore, unless they're reverses. And there's a fan Rotom, proving me wrong. But I feel like we've got still quite a lot of the set at this point. It's when it comes down to the hidden rares, things get uh, a bit messy, don't they? It's like over 20 hidden rares, secret rares in this set, which these sets are just getting bigger and bigger. This is like the biggest set since like, the e-reader days and still can't believe yes a full art glaceon gx got destroyed by one of these last night on the, on the ladder but yeah same as the last one but full art obviously and at least i can kind of start making think about making a uh, glaceon deck now because they are around are around indeed. In fact, I think I'm quite surprised we've not pulled more by this point. We've opened quite a lot of packs. Uh, only had a handful of hits. What are we at? Three prisms? Three out of the six? I mean, I'd, I'd like to get all six. Uh, I wonder if the Cyrus card has uh, had the change of text. On here probably has for those of you who don't know the cyrus card was um had a bit of a translation error in printing there we go so we've got the lunala as well i think this might have been the first prism that i've personally pulled but that's cool so we've only got three more left i forget two more left uh open another please two and it's a reverse and it's a rainbow leafeon wow now the leafeon is well with breath of leaves uh if this is your active pokemon once during your turn you may heal 50 damage from one of your pokemon this is another card along with glaceon that has been destroying me um a real good card i've been seeing it a lot not as much as glaceon but still not worth ignoring Nice to have the rainbow of that. Beautiful. I love the evolutions. 
Um, who doesn't really? Uh, I'd say Leafeon is probably my favourite evolution. But that is really, really, really cool. As is Reverse Magneton. Hopefully, I'll make a bit of. Uh, like, ooh. I need to remember there's a pop filter here now because it keeps throwing me. I keep hitting it by accident. And another Giratina, okay. Okay. Wow, so two rainbows, that's pretty lucky. Very lucky. And another dark, right? Okay, come on, we need the uh, we need the other ones now. We need that Cyrus. Not that I have any plans to use any of the prism, but how is that our first Volkner, really? There is um full arts, I think, on most of the trainers in the set as well. There's a full art. Volkner, Looker Looker and Cynthia are still Definitely my set goals, even for online, for deck blend. Oh, that's a disappointing pack. Oh dear, not doing so well now. And it's a... Ah, oh, right, yeah, that... <clears throat> excuse me, that was our rare, and we have... So Galeo, another one. <laughs> it's really confusing me how TCGO puts them at the end. It was just really throwing me. I'm losing my voice. It is quite early in the morning here, just trying to record this. While well, Joe is watching TV downstairs, so I have the office all to myself with no loud typing. Nah suitable recording environment. Come on, we need some more hits. Let's have that full art Cynthia. We have a Palkia though, that's okay. I'm not gonna use it, I'd rather do the Alga. Um, but a hit is a hit. Boop. Mm, shame in. Oh yeah, of course we got the reverse of that, but not the normal. Rose red. I don't know the. I don't know why they put the energy cards in online because they're unlimited anyway. So it seems a bit, a bit silly to have that extra card in here. But it is what it is, I guess. Seen a bit of that new Persimian around, not that much. Ah, another one! No! Nice reverse fan club. Be nice to. Uh, I do like the new fan club art. Be nice to remake some of my old decks and put the the new artwork in there. Oh, a couple new ones. Amazing that that's our first one of those. Wow, we're almost out. We've got 25 packs to go. Will we get any more hits? Come on, we need at least the Cynthia. Come on. I want to show off with a full art Cynthia online. Come on, full art Cynthia. Oh, Full Art Lily. I, I would be happy with Full Art Lily. Uh, cause I, Lily is in a lot of decks that I have at the moment. Oh no. This is not good. And... Oh gosh, I know Oh no. 20 packs to go. Cynthia if we oh we've got a play set of Cynthia so that's that's okay that is good because the Cynthia cards aren't terribly easy to pull you're lucky if you get two in a box which is why just get in the Garchomp theme deck if you want a Garchomp line and Cynthia just pick up a Garchomp theme deck seriously I'm surprised a lot more people haven't uh, picked up on that It's definitely the best new deck ever. I know I keep saying it, but it's true. It's just perfect. 
And we have a magma zone. We yeah, I could probably do something with magma zone now. We got a reversal too, didn't we? So that's good as well. Rushing. No! Come on. Haven't had a hit in a while. That's not new. Hey, and it's a full up Mars. Draw two cards if you do discard a random card from your opponent's hand. Ouch. Um, beautiful trainer. Joe pulled this one yesterday, so very envious. I, I, I do like that card. It's one I don't have. I've got a few full art trainers, but not that one. But then again, I got the full art Cynthia and Looker, so can't complain too much. First, oh, no, another Toxicroak! I don't want any more Toxicroak. We got Salazzle and <laughs> Cresselia. I love Cresselia, but. No more, please. Reverse Magma, that's good. Oh, Drapion, that was our first Drapion, okay. But, um, at least I can have a bling Magnemite line. I think, I think we're good at that point. Oh no, what is going on? Not good. We've got seven packs left. A couple more hits would be quite nice. And there's one. It's Leafy on GX. We pulled the rainbow. Here is the normal one. So I've got two of those now. I'll try and make a deck with them. I'll try and make a deck. I've got a few grass challenges going on TCJ right now anyway, so I need to do some damage with some grass Pokemon. <laughs> Another Giratina. We got four of those. Great, a playset. Not that you need four in a deck, because you can only have one. Oh no! Four packs left. I feel like I've gone through this really, really quickly today. Quicker than I usually do. Maybe I should... It's maybe it's because it's not had so many hits. Look at that, the double gibble. Another Leafeon, that's good, that's good. So we got three. I think we could do some of that. It's not the four for playset, but I think three could be sufficient. And a full art Dialga. There we go. Picking it back up at the end. Timeless GX though. Take another turn after this one. That's that's crazy. In fact, I wanna try and get this to work somehow. Mount Coronet, Mike I want to try and get Dialga to work in a deck, I think. Because that... Let's see if I can get that to work. One more pack! No, this is our last pack. And I'm quite amazed. This is like the quickest pack opening I've done ever. I've almost no. And that's it. Yeah, I've got a few more left, but I'll open those later. So, just to see... Uh, what we have got new there's a lot of new here <laughs> um, yeah list of reverse so that's really frustrating so we got the Leafeon two of those that's not too bad at all um, I could do something with the Piplup and Polion line one of the normal Glaceon GX what else is good here for Giratina promos, which is promos prisms, a little bit overkill. We got two Dark Rye as well. As for the Magnemite line, we're pretty set. I mean, there's a um, trade lot one there, it might be the theme deck, but um, yeah, there'll be no problem making the Magnemite line. Got a few, got three heat rounds in there as well, and two Dust Mane Necrozma, which is good, and two of the prism Sorgaleo. No problem at all making the Garchomp line. One Palkia GX. Got the one Silvale and Wow. <laughs> Just the one Glaceon GX. 
one Dialga GX, a Rainbow Leafeon, and a Rainbow Necrozma. Out of 100, I'd say it wasn't too bad. Uh, oh, that's going to be harder to find them in this one, isn't it? Because they don't do it. Oh, expansion, newest told us. There we go. And we got the full art Lusamine and full art Mars. So not not terrible not terrible at all i'd say for 100 packs that works out about right just quickly in my head yeah let me know in the comments uh what your favorite card is that we pulled today and what your favorite card is in ultra prism and i'll see you guys in the next 100 pack opening bye